something that you're asking things that you can't answer because the quiz or a test or whatever. And if you keep it up or become aggressive or whatever, I'm going to be wrong. Because Renee even said, we don't, we don't have to even tell her first. It's, it, it, we, we can just carbon copy her to that. Because so, like I dealt with one where a student basically made what could have considered to be a threat against his instructor. But something I don't something I don't understand. Some students they ask you something and you're like, no, technically I'm not supposed to. And right away they step, oh, don't start with that. It's just uh -huh. between us. Like there's yeah. no bond. Is it unfortunate? Yeah, because it's because it, certain instructors will put restrictions on you. And we have to abide by that because otherwise you risk the wrath of Ruth, which I never want to see. Because um, it's one of those, I've never seen Ruth mad, and I don't ever want to see Ruth mad. Ruth can be mad? Is that even possible? I see, that's, that's why it's scary. That's why the prospect terrifies me. Because you you know, like, a person like Ruth, when she gets mad, it's, it's her. Yeah, like, her, yeah, it's a hurricane sin is just going to be a light breeze compared to that. Um, I had a student once, the wife of a student, who felt like she had to make all of her husband's appointments for him. Call in, and she wanted an appointment, and I said, oh, we're all booked for today and tomorrow, you can come back tomorrow and try and get the next day. And she's like, well, why can't I just, why can't I just make one for the next day, right now? And I'm like, well, because I can only make an appointment one day in advance. Yep. And I said, it's all the policy. So that's a bullshit excuse to me. Woo! She told me that. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was saying, I wanted to. But yeah. You know. Well, so, oh. you know, then you, you see, then, then you know you do your own post-it note on the next day's sheet. So and so calls were booked. Yeah. But she luckily she hasn't called this semester. Just last semester. Usually those people once you shut them down, they won't come back. Yeah, it's their problem. My, my parents were really trying to talk to Renee or Ginny to get a reversal. Don't worry. I'm wondering, why don't you sit down? Because the table, the tripod legs there. So there are nine random scenarios out here floating. Everybody uses a different. And we have one of our own, so any time restraint. Who wants to start? We can start. Wow. Okay, so our scenario is, you are a tutor and your student calls you at 3 a.m. Who is under the influence and just wants to talk? Oh my god. That, that was unprofessional behavior. I'll just say that I'm a professional, you're a professional, this is unprofessional. And then maybe like have a follow-up phone call like the next morning or the next time you see them like in a session privately just be like, I don't know if you remember this, but call me. I just felt really uncomfortable with that. And I just want to clarify we don't have that type of you know unprofessional relationship. I that's probably what I would do. Acceptable, I can find that. Uh, like I said, I I'd probably actually be like like seriously, why haven't you called your mother or something? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, um, yeah. I don't know how we went from tutor to like drunk talking. <laughs> and then I do the same thing. Like the next day, I just I'd have to call him or let him know. Like I don't know if you know this, but that was a bit ridiculous. How about if you were drunk too at three in the morning? Right. <laughs> well, that might be a whole different problem.